Welcome to the 2016-17 Animal Allies Robot Game. Do we need animals or do they need us? Answer, yes. This robot game showcases just a fraction of our wonderful story with animals. As we tour the missions, pay attention to the many ways innovation and technology have enabled humans and animals to exchange help, friendship, amusement, protection, and love. As you'll see, there are many fun problems left to solve. Shark shipment. The shark starts in its tank, balanced, not touching the walls. The robot has three opportunities for points. It can push the tank into this rectangle or into this rectangle for more points. But you can get serious points if the delivered shark isn't touching the tank walls. Service dog action. The robot needs to travel east between the barriers and completely cross the fence. As the fence gets pushed down, the dog sits like she would in real life if a car was coming. Animal conservation. Before the match starts, you put an animal on the switching model by hand. The reindeer starts in base for that purpose, but you can use another animal if you like. From there, no more hands. The actual mission is for the robot to switch animals, loading and unloading as needed. Each animal switch counts for both teams. At the end of the match, the referee is going to be counting pairs of identical animals on a common field, and again, both teams get credit for each. Feeding. The refrigerator is set up with a color randomized stack of food pieces inside. It's the robot's job to take the food out and distribute it to certain animal areas. Points are earned for each piece. It doesn't matter which area a color goes as long as the colors aren't mixed in that area. It's possible to do this mission without sensors, but mastery of sensors would save time. Biomimicry. The robot needs to hang this mechanical gecko on the test wall. Instead, or, for additional points, the robot itself can hang on the wall. Milking automation. The robot needs to guide this cow into the cow cell and then turn it until milk comes out. Pushing the lever too far causes manure to come out. You still get points if both come out, but it's worth more points to get only milk. Panda release. The model starts closed counterclockwise. It's the robot's job to close it clockwise instead which shows a panda on the mat going back into the wild. Camera recovery. The robot needs to get this camera to base. Training and research. Here, there are many opportunities for points. One is to bring the dog and trainer from base out to this rectangle. Another is to bring the zoologist to the same rectangle from the panda's area. And finally, points are earned for every manure sample delivered to the rectangle. This should be quite a challenge because you're only allowed to transport one disc at a time. Beekeeping. The robot needs to get the bee onto the beehive. If the honey comes out, that's worth some points. If the honey ends up in base, that's worth more points. Prosthesis. The robot needs to bring this pet, who's missing her legs, to base. There, the team will hand install a wheeled prosthesis for her. For added points, the robot can then deliver her to the farm area where she'll have fun playing with other animals for the rest of her life. Seal in base. By the end of the match, the seal needs to be in base and not broken. Milk in base. The robot needs to get all three milk cylinders to base. Milk on ramp. The robot needs to get all three milk onto the ramp or onto the ramp in an unaided fashion or onto the ramp in an unaided fashion with all three standing. All samples. The robot gets enhanced points if it's able to get all 12 manure samples to their target rectangle. <laughs>